Hello and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Pete and I am back with a brand new island. I am so excited to be back. Um, we are finished with that little hiatus. Thank you guys for waiting so patiently for me. And we are super excited. Um, this island is gonna be a lot of fun and I'm very excited to go ahead and get started on it. So let's go right in. So, as you can see, we are going to start off with some terraforming. So, I want this island entrance to feel a little bit enclosed um, because I am thinking about doing a lovely little woodland farming forest core, grandpa core, village style <laughs> island. Um, I want it to feel very woodsy. I want it to feel like the villagers have little farms. I want it to feel like they have little areas to relax and enjoy themselves. Um, and to feel, you know, pretty, pretty lively on their little island here. Um, so what we're going to do first is just terraform some cliffs, um, just first and second level cliffs. And then we're going to do a little sunken area behind this. I'm not sure we'll fit the sunken area into this build, but I'm going to go ahead and do the terraforming for it right now um, and as you can see I left kind of like a keyhole in when I was doing the other terraforming and then I am kind of reverse terraforming reverse terraforming um, this out uh, so I can have a, a little sunken area upper level cliffs we'll just do a couple um just for some height in the background um you know me i like to terraform i like to terraform a lot so we're gonna add uh, some background height and then a little bit of waterworks this island probably won't have a lot of actual waterscaping and you will see why in a little bit later um, but for right now we're gonna add a little bit of a waterfall just to this area so that it has a uh, nice bit of nice bit of pizzazz a little extra a little extra <laughs> for this area So um, we are going to go ahead and get started on that pathing and as you can tell I'm doing a little bit of a different style for this video. Um, I did not like how rushed the Glen Hollow videos felt like when I was watching them and doing voiceovers with those um, last time. It, it always felt like super rushed and super like running around like a, a headless chicken or something. So, <laughs> so we're going to do a different, a different style of editing this time and uh, see how it goes for this island. Uh, I like it so far. I like it better than than the Glen Hile Glen Hile Glen Hollow style of video editing. Um, but yeah, so this forest path, um, I wanted it to feel kind of you know windy. I wanted I wanted it to feel windy. I wanted it to feel natural. Um, and as you can see, I've got a little water and bridge code. Um, so we are going to be playing around with some fake water codes in this island. And that's why we're not gonna have a lot of like the actual water terraforming because I'm gonna be doing it with the water codes. Um, and I'm very excited about that because I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, so we'll go ahead and put this bridge down and then we'll continue doing a, a windy little, little forest walkway. So now it is time for the water code and I want the water code to feel just as natural as the you know path code. So I'm going to try and go for that same windy feel, that same sort of natural flow in the water code as I do with the forest code, with the path code. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys, it is time for the lushification process. We are going to start putting in all of our trees. We're going to put in our bushes and flowers, all of that good stuff to make the whole area start to really feel alive, make it feel full, make it feel like it's been lived in by all of these lovely villagers. Um, and while I want this area to feel kind of, you know, natural, I want, also want it to feel very open since it is the entrance. So we're not going to put down, down very many. All right, guys, we are going to go ahead and get started placing down the furniture. Um, you know me, I love a fake building. I love a fake building. I don't know how many fake buildings I'll be able to build on this island, so I'm gonna go ahead and put one right here uh, so that I have at least one on this island. Um, and this, you know, for the entrance, it's gonna be just a nice, lovely little building. I'll probably put some, like a seating area in front of it and have it be a nice little, a nice little place for my villagers to introduce uh introduce any visitors to the island and i am using the patchwork set i know i'm going to be using that set a lot um over the next couple of videos uh, probably over the whole island because i genuinely enjoy um the vintage feeling that they give um i very much enjoy the vintage feeling that those patchwork items give so i'm going to be using them a lot All right, and we are gonna be adding some decor to the pond. Uh, I think if the ponds kind of stand by themselves, they don't feel quite as natural. So I'm gonna be adding a lot of rocks. I'm gonna be adding this really cool um, wooden sign uh, with a water code, really awesome code. It is in my card if you guys want to try it out for yourselves, as are all of my other custom codes. Um, but we're gonna be we're gonna be making this this little pond feel very lively uh, with a lot of rocks, a lot of grass standees, and probably some decoy ducks and all of that stuff as well. Uh, very excited about these. I think I think the final product turns out super well. So I'm very very excited to share that with you guys. Now it is time for some of that filler. Uh, I put the windmill up above um, just again to add some of that height to go with the cliffs. Uh, we'll probably be using the windmills pretty regularly around that, but now it is time for some final touches. Some extra little decoy ducks, a couple little other little animals to go around, and then maybe some extra decor to make it feel very nice and full. All right, guys, final pass time. We're gonna add in just a handful of extra flowers and then we're going to do the drop process. Weeds, mushrooms, weeds, and uh, what are those called? The vines, yes. So, <laughs> so we're gonna have the pine cones, we're gonna have some acorns, and then we're gonna have some mushroom drops on this island as well. I'm, I love adding the little drop uh, items around. They just, they feel, they're such a nice little touch to add to the to the islands and I I adore them uh, so this is the final product I am I'm in love with this entrance um, I love the bridge oh hi Billy hi Blair I see Blair poking around the corner it's so cute um, I think it is a great little start to a woodland village grandpa core I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna call this island uh, but it is it is so much fun it looks really nice and even at nighttime it looks it looks fantastic I'm so excited and I I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you find some inspiration from it and I uh, hope you uh, hope you come back next time to see the next one <laughs> all right Right. Bye bye.